Hey there, I'm gonna see if I turn up sideways again. I've been shooting Facebook Live the same way for a long time and I went earlier and turned up sideways and got out of the group somehow. So I am just checking to see how our shot looks. See if I can do that while I'm actually here. And everything looks good to go, yay. So this is our do-over. I had a really fun live scheduled for you today, and then I had a bunch of technical difficulties. It's the first week of summer here at my house, and I've got kids in the background and um, a lot going on. So I wanted to do this uh, live over here at this different time. I would love to have folks jump in and join me. Um, if you're here, we're going to talk about three big mistakes, three big blind spots that uh, coaches, healers, authors, experts. Um, hang on, I gotta tell one of those kids to be quiet. <laughs> My teenager with his booming voice. Um, we're gonna talk about three big blind spots that a lot of coaches, healers, I call them emerging visionaries or different uh, levels of uh, visibility visionaries, uh, entrepreneurs who have a big gift to share with the world, have these three blind spots in their visibility strategy. And so I wanted to just talk, talk to you. We're doing a quick recap here since it's a do-over, um, and we're going to jump right in. So uh, three big blind spots. Most coaches, healers, visionaries, those of us who want to be doing our work instead of having to market our work have when it comes to creating a visibility strategy. So we'll go backwards. Three, two, one. All right. Number three is not having a visibility strategy. There are so many options for us to share our work with the world. So much technology, so many different platforms. So not having a strategic plan for implementing your visibility strategy, your giving, how you're giving voice to your vision in the world in the biggest possible way can lead to a lot of distraction. It can lead to um, trying to do everything all at once. Uh, and it can lead to kind of the splatter effect of reaching out and building your visibility rather than a focused and aligned and empowered plan moving you forward to increase your momentum and uh, have some ease and some prosperity flowing in rather than um, diffusing your energy and your actions into this splash effect. Um, you can be focused and really, you know, working and having your visibility plan, your strategy, get your clients, share your work with the world, bring opportunities so that those clients and opportunities start to find you instead of you striving and struggling and doing a million different things in a million different directions to try and help them get you or to try and find them. Yeah. So visibility strategy. And for me, that's different than a marketing plan. Marketing plan is also important and really powerful, but I'm talking, there's a difference. Hey Zaza, I'm so glad you're here. Um, we're talking about three big blind spots. A lot of coaches, healers, authors, experts have around their visibility strategy. Zaza is a visibility expert as well. So it's super fun to have you here. She helps us give voice to our vision, um, in those magnificent books that we can write. So uh, the three big blind spots, the, the first or the third, we're counting backwards, three is not having a strategy. So you end up uh, doing a million different things in a million different directions, or you um, uh, do a little bit here and there, and it ends up dissipating your energy instead of really having a focused a rhythm and connection and momentum. Yeah? Number two, three, no strategy at all. Number two, not addressing the inner game part of visibility. So in my uh, 
The way that I look at it is that marketing, being an entrepreneur, is a radical act of visibility. And it's also for me a personal development and a spiritual development process. I believe we are here because we have a purpose and finding that purpose, daring to uh, follow that purpose and then make our livelihood from that purpose is layer by layer of personal growth, personal development, and it's how we can have amazing work that we love. It's how to do what you love and the money will follow. Uh, so these are all acts of visibility to me and that's why a visibility plan is different than a marketing plan. Even in this day and age, the marketing plan is going to have many different arms. So your overreaching visibility plan is so important. Um, are you going to work with Zaza and focus on the book? Are you going to use videos as part of your plan? Can you do both and how can you repurpose the content from one thing to the next so that you're not doing creating constant new everything all the time and spreading yourself too thin, right? We want all of these things to have a strategy moving you toward your goals. And for most of us, that is a business that can run without us and consistent clients and doing the work that we love and seeing the transformation that we're here to bring happening in the world around us through one-on-one -on -one clients, through our online programs, through our live events, however we're reaching out to people. Again, all of that is visibility. So how are you strategizing about your visibility and how are you working the inner game? What is slowing you down, standing in the way, or stopping you from that next layer, that next level of owning your voice and sharing your work with the world in the biggest possible way. That inner game piece is critical for the, you to have the transformation. Yes, repurposing. Thanks, Jaza. Um, for you to uh, have the transformation that then up levels the transformation that you bring to your clients, right? So good. Visibility strategy. And then the number one biggest reason I think that um, I, I have been playing with this idea for a little while uh, that uh, our vis a blind spot that we have to around our visibility strategy is to define for ourselves um, we don't know our visibility style so to define for our, yourself what is your visibility style and um, you'll see people now are emerging to around to find your marketing style, your business building style. Um, a lot of people I follow are talking about simplicity. A lot of people I talk about or uh, I follow are talking about you know the multi-million dollar business versus the six-figure business. And each one of those requires a different visibility style. You know, are you somebody? Yeah, right. Thank you, Zaza. So many of us are limited and restricted layer by layer. There's always another layer to peel away of that visibility fear. Um, and some of us don't even know that that's a thing. So that's why I call it a blind spot, not knowing that the inner game is probably why your visibility isn't working, your visibility strategy isn't working, right? So first of all, you may not have a visibility strategy. Second of all, you may not know that it's mindset that's pushing clients away. So all that action you're taking could be repelling people instead of attracting them. And then this um, knowing your visibility style. So I have, I'm very excited. That's why I'm redoing my live today. I had all manner of technical difficulties and ended up in my personal status page and the sideways. So a quick redo here today. Thanks for being here. Uh, and I want to share this with you because I just created it. I'm very excited about it. It is a powerful presence profile quiz. Love the alliteration, can't stop myself, just like kindergarten. But it is so powerful, right? The, the Powerful Presence Profile Quiz. And it's a list, quick, simple list of 10 questions. It'll give you a number to see um, what, where you're at on, in the emerging visionary or whether you're a rock star visionary. And it'll give you a, an idea, too, of what your next layer of visibility will be. And that work is part of defining your visibility style and I think that part of that part of defining our visibility style is owning 
our strong suits. We tend to always want to be fixing and tweaking and improving upon ourselves. We're not good enough yet. So owning your style means you're going to own your visibility strong suits. Maybe that writing is where you come alive and maybe that's where you get the most clients. So it's a combination. Defining your visibility style is a combination between uh, knowing what actually works to get you clients and finding new ways to step just outside your comfort zone so that you're expanding and that's a magical alchemy that can happen when we're just a little bit bigger than we maybe want to be or just a little bit outside of what's familiar yes. um, because then we are stepping into our own personal professional transformation and that's when our energy becomes amazingly kinetic and magnetic so the goal in this visibility isn't Look at me, look at me, look at me, I'm here, look at me, right? That's not my goal in stepping through and releasing my fear or limits around being seen and heard. My goal is to help more people. My goal is to make a bigger difference in the world and to have a thriving business that supports a lifestyle that allows me to do as much helping as I want um, without uh, compromising my family time and struggling and constant striving, right? So those are my um, three insights today around the biggest blind spots that some of us have, many if not most of us have around our visibility strategy. So three, we don't have a visibility strategy at all. Uh, two, uh, we um, haven't addressed the, sorry, I got distracted by my notes. Um, so wait, three, we don't have a strategy at all. Two, we're not addressing the inner game. And three, we are uh, haven't defined our style, our visibility style, what's working for us, what isn't working for us. And then usually with a coach or a, a guide, you're going to define where do you need to shift your focus and focus on this kind of visibility because it's working and how can you expand there and where do you maybe need to explore the next other options and stretch a little bit, get outside your comfort zone where the transformation happens. And that's where I like to rock and roll. So thank you, Zaza. It's so good to have you here. It's so much fun when somebody's here live. For those of you who will watch the recording, um, let me know hearts, likes, thumbs up. Invite your friends. If this is useful content to them, feel free to invite them to join us in this group. And as soon as I post this video, I'm going to post the link to that powerful presence profile quiz for you. And I'd love to hear your results. You can check back in here and tell us your score, tell us your style, tell us what you think your next steps are. And um, I would love to support you. I'm here every week and I will gear the content towards what's gonna serve you. Thank you for those hearts, Zaza. So good to see you. Um, have an amazing weekend, everybody. What is like an easy, relaxed, yes. and yet a little bit risky, a little bit edgy, powerful act of visibility that you could take before this week ends and we all go off onto our weekends, yeah? What, what's one thing you could do to stretch how you put your work out into the world, how you share about what you do, yeah? Share and comment that here. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.